Welcome to the classroom. Today, we're going to be solving reading problems, finding the magic words. Problem 1. Jack hiked 38 miles while on a three-day trip. The first day he hiked 10 miles. The second day he hiked 12 miles. How many miles did he hike on day three? Find the magic words. In this instance, the magic words are how many miles and on day three. We specifically want to know how many miles and how many of those miles were traveled on day three. We're not trying to figure a total for the entire trip. Let's look at what we already know. Our answer will not be more than 38. Why? Because the farthest he traveled in three days was only 38 miles. Our total for traveling on day one and two was 22, which is 10 plus 12. To find out how far he traveled on day three, we just subtract the miles traveled on days one and two from the total miles traveled. 38 miles on the three-day trip minus 22 miles traveled in two days equals 16 miles left to be traveled on day three. Our answer is 16 miles. Problem number two. Andrew read two books a day for a week. His teacher said he needed to read 17 books by the end of the week to go on the class trip. Did he read enough books? Find the magic words. In this problem, the word is enough. Or we could say it like this. Enough is 17. Did he read 17 books? Yes or no? That's what we'll find out. Let's look at what we already know. There are seven days in a week. Reading two books a day for seven days is the same as saying seven times two. Seven times two equals 14 and 14 is less than 17. The answer is no. Andrew read 14 books. He read three books less than what he needed to read. He won't be going on the trip. More examples of magic words. Total, in all, all together in some means that you will add. Left, remain, less, how much more means that you will subtract. Problems that talk about splitting things in even amounts, sections or portions, mean that you will divide. Things done over time or in a sequence with the same amount occurring each day means that you will multiply. Final tips. Don't guess or assume. Make sure you understand what type of answer the problem is looking for. Find the magic words, work the problem, and check your answers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please.